Welcome back from last Thursday into the weekend. Oregonians and people from all over went to Ashland for one purpose, to swing dance until they couldn't dance anymore. NBC5's Maximus Osborne has more on the SO Swing Convention, and he even joined in on the dance floor. A wide genre of music filled the Ashland Hills Hotel and Suites Ballroom as people stormed the dance floor for the 10-year anniversary So Swing Convention. We're dancing literally all night long, and I know when people hear me say all night long, they think, oh yeah, maybe they'll go till 2 or even 3. No, the sun will come up. Dave Kahn is the event director of the multi-day convention, which he says has a lot to offer for all levels of swing dancers. So some people are, are definitely into the, comp the competition part, and some people just come to, there's a lot of workshops we do, so learn from pros. Uh, some people are just here for social dancing. Some people do everything. I don't know how they survive. Dancers like Dr. Robin Miller says it's for everyone and has a lot of benefits. Partner dancing is really good for your brain. It helps prevent Alzheimer's. It's really good for patients with movement disorders like Parkinson's. The event focuses on West Coast swing style, which means that a variety of music is played, which uniquely allows dancers to express themselves. Like NBC5 News alum and current KGW TV in Portland morning anchor Christine Pitawanich. She first got into it years ago and hasn't missed a So Swing convention since. It was the fun, the fun that people were having, the connections they were making with each other, the art that they were making on the dance floor. It was just all a culmination of everything. So you as a lead, your whole objective is getting the follow to start their momentum. Pitawanich also took on the daunting task of teaching my two left feet the swing basics. Six, one, two. And of course, we had to take those new skills out on the dance floor. And while most people know me more as a fighter than a dancer, I don't think anyone really noticed. Eventually, I did find myself a partner, and despite being nervous, they say if you're walking on ice, you might as well dance. It's just having fun with people on the dance floor, not competitively or anything. No, no barriers, just kind of having a good time and creating community with people. In Ashland, Maximus Osborne, NBC5 News.